Tokyo is already under its fourth state of emergency since the pandemic began. On Friday, it will expand states of emergency to three prefectures around. 64% of Tokyo's hospital beds available for serious COVID cases were already filled. Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga told a news conference that the virus is spreading at an unprecedented speed. I believe that this is a question that no one can answer at this current juncture. And leisure travel will still remain a myth, at least for now. As a tribute to Japan, in this video, I would like to share with you a cinematic journey of how we spent our last 12 days in Japan. From Tokyo, we took a bullet train to our next destination. A journey of crossing to the next region and cutting through six prefectures, it took us around three hours over 400 km. Here, we stay at a small town within the valley, Unazuki Onsen, which is also the starting point of the sightseeing railway train. Leaving the Onsen town, we took a local railway train which cuts through the valley and brings us to the main station. From here, we transfer to the bullet train and travel to Kanazawa, where we'll stay for a night. Kanazawa it is a city with many historic attractions such as restored residences and districts. Definitely a place where you want to spend some time exploring. Unfortunately, our only day there was raining heavily. We collected our rental car the next morning and continue with our journey. It took us one and a half hours to drive to the historic farming village of Shira Kawago. After our day trip at Shirakawago, we drove to Takayama where we will stay for two nights.
Our next destination was Iwamure, but we stopped midway at Gero for lunch. If you'd like to see more details video on each of the places we visited, please click on the link on the top right hand corner. At Iwamure, we'll stay for another two nights. From Iramura, we took a short drive to Magome Post Town for a day trip. This is a unique historic post town which was located on an elevated landscape. went to Nagoya and returned our rental car. And from Nagoya main station, we took a bullet train to our last destination in Japan, Hakone. No doubt, this may be one of the more touristy places that we had visited in Japan. But truly, she has a lot to offer. And here mark the end of our 12 days trip in Japan. And if you'd like to see more details on each of the places we visited, please refer to the links in the description below or you can find it in our channel under the Japan Travel series. <laughs>